Humanity destroyed. Vec threat unstoppable. Mission failed. Open the breach. Time to go back and try again. Whoop. Hello and welcome to Into the Breach. I am Albion. I'm the guard and yeah, that's not <laughs> usually I would have followed up there, but oh well. We're here to punch some motherfucking mechs in the face. Beep boop. Well no, we are mechs. We are going to punch aliens in the face. So Why would you punch yourself in the face? This game's been out for about two weeks. I've played about twenty hours of it. Wow. Well. You've mostly watched it over my shoulder, haven't you? I, I peek over occasionally. I see what you're doing. Just blowing shit up. Okay. So, uh, the basic way this game works is that you pick squad of mechs. Now, as you can see, we only start with one unlocked, the Rift Walkers, who are... They're, they're your basics. But there's nine other teams to... No, there's not nine. There's one, two, eight. three, so there's seven. four, five... There are eight teams to unlock. You can also... Well, technically, there's seven teams to unlock. There's eight, eight available. This is correct. So, after that, you can also just have a squad of any of the mechs you've got. And with each of the mech squads, they've got three achievements. All the achieves. So they've got three achievements and three victory conditions. So, really, for the purposes of that's play, I say we're going to try and get all of the three achievements and get at least one victory with each team? Yeah. Sounds good. Nick, hey, we saved this timeline and that's good enough. Yeah, and we start with one time traveler. All the pilots have their own unique abilities. Mm -hmm. But we start with this guy, Ralph Carlson, who just gets bonus XP. Ralph. Well, right. Good way to start everything off. Yeah. All right, let's begin. Spares. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Dropping robots. This timeline will be a Vec graveyard. So we start on this island, Archive Incorporated. Wee. This museum island recreates old Earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. Wee! I wouldn't be too surprised if that actually happens. Me neither. We're doing all we can to protect the refugees, but we need your help against the Vec. We'll assist you with some old Earth artifacts if we can. Okay, so this is very much like the first island. It's... It's what you'd expect. Yeah. So we've got two potential missions. Evacuation site, end the battle with less than, four, less than four mech damage and protect the power generator. Or defend the tanks and the coal plant in a high threat area. You choose whatever, you know what you're doing, boy. Well, let's not start with the high threat one. Oh, this one has mines. Film! Right, so we'll deploy this is one here. Crawlies. They look like um, scorpions from, from over here. Flying scorpions in a... That looks like a um, mother grub. So we got hornets, which are the flying buggers, mm. scorpions, which are a melee monster, and fireflies, which shoot blobs of goo. As for us, we've got a mech that punches, a tank that shoots, and an artillery piece. Well, later on, you get one that just launches fucking rocks. Yeah, the Blitzkrieg boulder mech. I do love it. Bling! Now, we've got to defend the buildings because we've got the power grid up here. Yeah, And that's it. health bar. For the entire campaign. Okay. So we do need to try and stop that going down if we can. So. Well, there's one right up against that power grid over there. Yeah. So how? We, so they're threatening this building. They're threatening our mech. But we can have some fun here. Yeah. Sidestep. Now he is going to shoot him. <laughs> but also, we're going to give them a fisting. <laughs> Dead. So now, if I've done this correctly. We then go up here. I didn't need to get that close, but... Bang! Into the water. Uh, it's a flyer. Flying so. type, so it doesn't get affected. Uh, how do we stop... Oh, no, that was a bad move, look. He's yeah. now threatening that building. Uh, reset turn. <laughs> you only get one of these per battle, but that was kind of a screw-up on yeah. my part. Yeah, we're going to do that. No, we won't edit that out. We're showing the game on here, so right, that works because that kills him. Actually, no, I'm doing it. Right, new plan. Yeah. Stand here. The launch tree. You want to try and fling them into the mines? I don't think I can. I'm just trying to kill them all if I can. Kill them all! I don't think I can stop him attacking that building. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the bit where it looks like a bunch of drums and some pipes is the power grid? 
Yes, that's the thing we've got to defend. Okay. But building damage is still going to be bad. So, here it comes. Oh, and the mech's on fire. Whee! So that's just lost us a point on the grid. Oh, he stood on a mine. <laughs> well done. Right. Oh. Well, he exploded. Right, we should be able to take care of this. So first things first, let's introduce Buddy Boy here to a minefield. Split. And we'll introduce... Looks like ice tiles. There are some, yes. Introduce you to a minefield. And can we kill you? Oh, crap baskets. We can't move because he's webbed us up, but that's going to damage the building if we kill him. Yeah. But that's only going to do us one damage, so you know what, let's take that hit. Because it's better to take a hit than to lose Sacrifice the other things. Yes. The only one damage. <laughs> oh, budge. Yeah, I sort of noticed over there. Oh, and he's, what, is he powered up a bit? Uh, so the those floaty boys are ah. called Scions. And they have random effects. Well, they don't have random, but they have a variety of effects. The green one is giving them more hit points. So we really got to kill him. Yep. Okay, so you're you're threatening the power plant. So you can sod right off. Into the water. Indeed you do. This is actually a problem, because he's on low health. And he's on fire. And he's webbed up. Yeah, and he's got two attacks coming in. So let's heal him up, so that'll cure the fire. Sidestep this way. Boosh. And that That's should one work. way to wash the deck away. Oh, your rhymes. <laughs> I just have to deal with the one. Oh, God. There's more. So, yeah, this isn't a very forgiving game. No. But uh, we're getting So, I'm glad you're there. playing it, not me, because I couldn't play this one again. Okay, so what do we got? That building's being threatened, that building's being threatened, that building's being threatened. Everything's being threatened. So, first things first. Ponch. Achievement, watery grave. Bloosh. Right, so we can shove you to stop you threatening that building. And same for you. Get in the drink. Hey, you're not on fire anymore! <laughs> and that should be this mission complete, because the turn timer is over. We lost one building. Not the best first turn, but uh, eh. we did complete both the objectives. Nice. And now we've got kill at least seven enemies, defend the artillery. We. Uh, let's see if we can do a slaughter fest. Slaughter fest of fun. Uh, keep the artillery back a bit. There's no need to have something that squishy at the front. Mm. Dad, look! <laughs> Help is here! Okay, so we've got a scorpion, a firefly, and a hornet. Otherwise known as annoying, annoying, and die now, please. <laughs> oh, you got to do it in only four turns. Yeah. So many limits. Um, right, how are we going to do this? Right, okay, first things first. Yep. Stop threatening that. Now you're just going to whack that mountain. Aha, um, uh -huh, here's a plan. So if we go here, push them back, then uh, I can't stop him shooting. How much damage do you do? One out of the artillery will be fine. But I could still put him in the way and shoot him. Beep. Getting bit. And attack the mountain. And attack nothing. Oh great, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Ah, uh, Scions. Really? Of course there would be a Scion on the Kill Them mission. Of course there would be. Yeah. Um, well, first things first we can do is get rid of the Scion. Punch. Yeah, like how uh, with an Octo Heb you get rid of the medics first. Exactly. Right, you back the fuck up. Ooh, now this could be fun. Hmm? Watch this. Watch in. Artillery. Push him. He's now going to shoot his buddy in the back. Whee! And he'll date damage because he's blocking one of his mates from coming up out of the ground. So that really just gets better and better. Tank takes another tip. We can survive that. 
Ooh, the punchy mech's also getting kind of a kicking. Oh, breached! Dead. Oh, hell no, you are not doing that. Morning, morning. Uh, right. Need to think here. Strategy. Need some tactical thinking. So, sidestep, boosh. Right, you're now going to die when your mate comes out of the ground. You're going to die because I'm punching you in the face. <laughs> and wait, was that the right... Hang on, I'm just, just uh, I'm gonna reset because I can do that better. I can kill both of these. Because then you can come up here, and then you kill that with a punch, and then you can achieve the same dislocation, or in fact you can achieve the same kill with an artillery shell. <laughs> then you go here, bang, you'll get killed when he emerges and your shot's going nowhere. Eat it. Oh no, truly you have threatened the grasslands, and okay. oh there's more scorpions. Oh, more things for him to punch. Okay, so walk back over here. He's just punching things threatening these cities, really, isn't he? Yeah. Right, how do we go back? Like a him? Jaeger. Yeah. Yes. I had to think for a bit. Okay, no, that's going to be a bad shock that will hurt me. So first things first, go away. Then have this on your head. <laughs> oh, damn, we aren't going to make the achievement. We're not going to kill Seven, because he's not going to die. Mm. Oh well. Well hey, we got somewhere. I mean, you're we not got really... got nothing to hit. This is true. The Rift Walker saved us. Everyone's okay. Yeah, okay, don't sass me, buddy. We killed nearly enough. And hey, our leader's been promoted. He increases the grid defense by three. Nice. So, grid defense, every time something takes a hit, that's its percentage chance not to die. Yeah. 18% is kind of pitiful, but uh, it might get us there. It's better than none. Yeah. So, we got defend the satellite launchers, defend the artillery, or defend the tanks. Hmm. Let's do satellites. I like the satellites one. Uh, keep the artillery back as always. So, these things are going to launch in stages. And on the final stage, they launch Wave of Fire. Well, that one's already gotten netted. Yeah, I think we're going to have to drop a shell on our bunny boy here. But Right, so first things first, we want to get rid of you to get rid of the hit point boost. Squelch. You can come here and tell him to stop threatening the building. Then we can... Doing one damage to him is not going to do much. He's still going to hit the satellite, so let's just shove him. Congratulations, now you're just flailing at the ocean. <laughs> I think a lot of people do that, and just flail at ocean. When they're giant alien scorpions? Well, are they people as well? They just flail at ocean. Good. Ah! Do they? I, some people do. I'll, I've done it occasionally. I'll defer to you on that one. Okay, so that's about to launch. Oh no, here's a thought. Have a thought. Punch. Punch. But then if I step out of the way here, I can block that, and they're just going to shoot each other. Now, that's going to do one damage to that satellite, but they're both going to die when that takes off, so I think it's worth leaving them there to take a little mm -hmm. bit of satellite damage. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Okay. And the artillery can get in line to drop shells where it needs to. Then we just need to stop them doing one more damage to that satellite. Yes! Hit each other in the face! Okay, so we got two fireflies to deal with in three turns. Oh! oh. More, more of them! Ah. Great googly moogly! <laughs> you like that, don't you? It is rather entertaining, yes. Right, so if we make you sidestep... Then we can punch you into you, which will kill you both. Dead. Not a big surprise. <laughs> right, repair that, because you take damage when you're trying to stop something coming out of the ground. Well, yeah, they're tucking you right underneath. So we just got a wasp and a scorpion to deal with. A hornet, rather. Mm 
Um, right, first off, punch. Punch thing dead. Can we drop you in the dr No, I can't. Oh, we might have a way to drop. No, we're not. Wait, yes, we do. Do we? We can drop him in the drink. So if we first shove him here, then we shove him here. Hey, learn to swim, you bastard. And that's the second satellite launched. A little battered, but it's still good. Mission complete. Dun, dun, dun. Hooray. So I think we get to do one more mission on this island. Chronology Hall to defend the train. Destroy a dam. Or the usual artillery ones. Let's... Let's defend the train. Do what you gotta do. Right, let's deploy again. Push, push, push. It's the Rift Walkers. Oh, time pod. So if we can, we've got to get that out of there in one piece. Now the train is going to move and we need to stop them damaging the train as well as civilians. More things to protect. Yep. That's basically where the challenge comes from in this game, honestly. <laughs> Okay, so first things first. Shove. Shove. Uh, right, so. Um, hmm. Hmm? So the thing is, I could just punch this guy. Yeah. But he's going to stand on the time pot if I do that. He's going to hit that building. So I'm trying to think of a way to solve both problems here, but I don't think there is one. Wait a minute. No, mm -hmm. no, I see a way. Because he can then just... Right, so we'll just focus on moving you aside for now. Move you down the right, down the line. He's going to take a hit, but he can take a hit. Actually, no, let's move you from there, because if he's stood in those trees when he's hit, they're going to catch fire. And that'll just not be good no, for anyone. Want that. So, whiff. Mountain poke. <laughs> poke the mountain. Poke me. <laughs> Train moves. Oh, and another one comes up. Oh, no one said this was going to be easy. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. There's lots of stuff going on right now. Two turns? Yeah. Okay, that's going to work out reasonably well for us, but not well enough. So, hang on. What if we do it this way? punch you out of the way. Then we launch the shell here. Um, now he's the only one left threatening the train. And he can go around the train and move you so that you're shooting your buddy. <laughs> and the time pod is still intact. Kill all your friends! Oh, the mech is not in a good place right now. Oh lordy. Oh lordy no. Leave the train alone! Go over there and wave at them with the stick. Oh god, how do I prevent all this? Um, shit biscuits. Chronology um, is a thing. Chronology is a dangerous thing to be messing around with. Agreed. Okay, so Time is many things. Right, so that secured us the pod. Then... We might be able to... Now that's going to push him up there, which is no good to us. They've got this train surrounded. What's their attack order? Okay, so he's going second, he's going for fifth, third, okay. Feck. Hmm. I'm really not sure if we can stop them damaging the train. What's in the train? Supplies. Okay. Refugees. The People. <laughs> I mean, also, Ralph's gonna fucking die in a minute. Because he's on fire. 
Right, we don't need to worry about... So we can punch him out of the way. Now we just need to worry about these two getting their attacks in. Hang on, isn't your your pointy little tanky down there on top of the pod? Uh, if you park on it, it saves it. Okay. The best we can do is that, I guess. But the train's still going to take a hit. But I wait. You can still wait. 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 Okay. New plan. Restart turn. So what's important here is to. So if we move you up there, that kills you. Then you nail him, that kills him, but that still leaves two damage. No. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Ah. I don't think there's a way out of this. I mean, he's now going to die. We can't do anything about that. He's dead. Yeah. We have to just hope that maybe the grid defense will kick in, otherwise... Dead. Defend the disabled train now. Oh! They retreat anyway. What? <laughs> that was confusing. Well, it was on the last turn. Did we so... take the tank one? I can't tell. We did. Okay. I parked the tank on it. Please tell me there was another pilot in this pod. Hey, there was. In a reactor core. Isaac Jones. Gain an extra reset turn every battle. Not gonna lie, we might need that. Yeah, Ralph's dead. Sorry, Ralph. Oh, seismic. Okay. They're attacking the corporate HQ, so that's the final boss for this island. We. Now we just need to work out what we're gonna use that core to upgrade. We can make buildings immune to our artillery with it. Or we can just up the hit points or speed. You know what, let's do the building immunity. Because then we can shove things away from buildings without killing them. Mm -hmm. So let's see, we've got Watery Grave. What else have we got? Kill an enemy five, so we need to unlock the dash punch for that. And Island Secure, complete the first... Well, we're going to do that now. Assuming we win this mission. Yeah. Oh, it's a big old bugger. That's the Firefly leader. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. He is not nice. Like most things we fought have had two to four hit points, really. He's got five. He got five. Uh, no, no, no webbies. No. Why are you like this? Okay, so first off, you can start off. Then, you then go there. Right, so that's the first bit of hit point damage done to him. And... Hmm. Hmm? I'm just trying to work out if we can do this. Yes, we can. Splash. You made a goo. Yes. That did mean that that one's going to surface, though. But Oh, no, we... that, that's got to die. It's boosting the boss's health. I'm sorry, you're just not welcome here. I feel like we're not going to cooperate well. I didn't invite you! Right, so you've kind of surrounded my boy here so he can't get to the Scion. I don't approve of this. So... But no, that's not going to work in my favour. Right, first things first, let's just... Let's what? Um... Well, wow, this is kind of tricky. <laughs> well, it's a boss battle, what do you expect? Certainly not leniency and Isaac. Wait, idea. Idea? Uh, no, don't stand there, maybe then. Stand there. Then. Congratulations, you are going to shoot your own scion. <laughs> and that's got me out of the webbing, so. Now I will punch you here. I'm not going to shoot your mate in the back. Uh, you're going to shoot our artillery, but... Um, mm, 
Actually, let's smack him around. He's going to shoot whatever we do, so. Let's just move the tank into a position to do stuff. I could okay. shoot the boss, but then he's not going to hit the scion and he is going to hit the building, so. I mean, we could just. Yeah, let's just kill you. Enough about me, let's kill you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he squished his own scion. And we got. I don't know why, but I think that bridge movie was great. It was a very good bridge. And the Broly. Yeah. And Broly. Right. Hmm. 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 Ha. Hmm. That's not going to achieve anything, just pushing him away from the building like that. Oh, keeps him away from the building. Yeah, but he's a ranged attacker, so yeah. he's really going to do a lot, no matter what I do in that regard. So, how many hit points has he got? Four now. Five? I think that's five. That's four. Looks like four. One, two, three. No, there's five pips there. Oh, okay. Turns out I can't count. Well, I can't really see. Uh, so. How much extreme punching can we do? Rocket to punch you! Wait. Yeah, we can't really stop him harming those buildings at this point. Mm. So let's just minimize the other damage we're going to get. So we're going to take two points of grid damage here when he nukes those buildings. But at least the rest of them are whiffing. So we've got the tower protected and we've got not much longer to kill this thing. Mm -hmm. And he's just stood in a gap between two buildings ready to... Oh dearie me. Oh, we now have one to... Can I... That's you not... win if you just kill... If you at least kill the boss. I mean, I've got two objectives. Kill the boss and protect the tower. The tower's not in any danger, so that's fine. I don't think I can kill the boss. Wait, hang on. Reset turn a second. Because maybe I shouldn't hit it with that turn first. Um. Um. Mm -hmm. that? <laughs> That's me desperately trying to work out a few things. No, it was my noise that I was wondering. Okay. Wait, I have an idea here. You have ideas. A bit crazy, but... No, I well, can't. Standard around it. Let's just shove him out of there. Then shove him into the boss. Then he only has two hit points left, and the fist will kill him. Yes! <laughs> okay, I did not. That took a bit of. Thinking there. Yeah. I'm sure there were people watching the video live who were just What are you doing? <laughs> I mean you've lost the thing, but We saved the tower, we destroyed the firefly. Island secure. He now gives what? Up. Okay. Alright, now all the stars we've been doing have been giving us corporate reputation, which now we've won an island. And to buy toys! Guys! We can get more reactor upgrades, or we can just get new things in general. Yeah. So, I think we just get some reactors and upgrade what we've got, because we've only got six points. Yeah. So we've got two reactor cores. We have. So what we can do is install them here, and now he can dash punch. Whoosh. So he doesn't need to be right next to something to give a thump. He you, runs up to it and punches it. You've got a reactor core, so let's give you more hit points since you're mostly just getting hit by things now. And you're all good. Okay, leave the island. And with that, we've unlocked RST Corporation. Woo! In future games, you will to visit the islands unlocked in any order. Right, well. Jessica can in a desert environment. Yes, and I think we will definitely get there probably in the next episode. Yep. But for now... I have been Albion. Uh, don't know what I so stick around if you want some more, but for now just sit tight and stay shiny for us. Goodbye, and we will see you next time we go into the breach. <laughs>